This video was made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of Choji Akamichi from Naruto Choji Akamichi is a member of Konohagakure's Akamichi clan. Though sensitive about his weight, Choji is nevertheless dedicated to his friends, especially in Team Asuma. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the life of Choji Akamichi. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Background Choji was born into the Akamichi clan, and is slated to become the 16th head of the Akamichi after his father, Choza. When Choji was younger, he was often put down for not being good at a child's game called Ninja, which appears to be a cross between tag and hide and seek, often employing the use of shuriken made out of cardboard and sticks. His peers would always berate him, telling him that any team he was on was bound to lose. One day, they simply refused to let him play at all. However, Shikamaru Nara stuck up for him, saying that the teams would be uneven if Choji didn't join them. This gave Choji a little hope, although in the end, they still refused to let him play. Choji and his father were later seen talking on the roof of a building where Choji was still upset over the way he was treated by the other children, saying the Akamichi were all fat and stupid. Comforting him, his father told him that few people have a heart as kind and caring as his, and one day he would meet someone who would see that in him and respect him for it, and that eventually they would be the best of friends. His father proved to be correct as soon after Shikamaru arrived. Choji recognized him as the one who had defended him earlier and asked Shikamaru why he wasn't playing the game to which Shikamaru responded that it was too troublesome. He then told Choji that he liked to come up there and watch the clouds and that Choji happened to be sitting at his spot. Choji moved over to give him more space. Shikamaru proceeded to lie down before telling Choji that he should watch the clouds with him. This delighted Choji, as he eagerly asked Shikamaru if he wanted to eat some snacks that he had brought. Shikamaru took him up on the offer, causing Choji to be overjoyed, and then Shikamaru said, this is the best, watching clouds and eating chips. From that day on, the two became best friends. During Choji's time at the academy, he was often caught eating in class, otherwise getting in trouble along with fellow deviants Shikamaru, Kiba Inazuka, and Naruto Uzumaki. Together, these four would cut class, or otherwise test the patience of Iruka Umino, their academy instructor. During the search for Tsunade, when Naruto was struggling to learn the second step of training for the Rasengan, he recalled how once, during his days in the academy, he, along with Shikamaru, Kiba, and Naruto were held back in class, and lectured about their all-around lack in concentration. Chunin Exams During the first phase, he and his teammates met with their old classmates of Team 7 and Team 8 until the written exams began. After Ino cheated off of Sakura's test answers using mind-body switch technique, she went into Shikamaru and his body to pass on the answers to them. They ended up passing regardless because the true test was to overcome pressure and intensity. During the second phase of the Chunin exams, Choji was reluctant to join his team in helping Sakura fend off a team of Otogenin, fearing for his own safety and continuously asking to run. However, when Zaku Abumi called Choji Fatso, Choji proceeded to go berserk as he defended his size and yelled that Konoha and the Sound Ninja were now at war. Properly motivated, Choji fought against the Otogenin but were unable to defeat them. His actions, however, bought time until Sasuke Uchiha awakened and forced them to retreat with the power of his cursed seal of heaven. In the preliminaries of the exam, Choji began feeling hesitant about fighting, but Asuma convinced him to fight, promising to treat him to barbecue if he won and to intervene if he was in danger. In the last match of the preliminaries, Choji was matched against Dosu Kanuda. At the start of the match, Ino Yamanaka yelled at him that he was fat so that he'd be spurred into fighting. Figuring Dosu's sound-based attack won't work on him if he doesn't hear it, he uses the multi-size technique and uses the human bullet tank to charge at Dosu. After Dosu manages to avoid Choji's attack a few times, Choji gets lodged in a wall. With Choji unable to get out of the wall, Dosu takes the initiative of sending a blast of sound into Choji's bulk, with its effectiveness increased as sound travels better through water. As a reward to Choji for getting so far in the Chunin exams, and as a bribe to help with Shikamaru's training, Asuba takes Choji to a buffet. But Choji ends up eating too much and gets stomach pains, forcing him to spend some time in the hospital. He recovered in time to watch Shikamaru and Sasuke's matches, but was put to sleep during the ensuing invasion of Konoha. Konoha Crush Choji can be seen at the third Hokage's funeral, alongside the other villagers mourning his death. Sasuke Recovery Mission 
Shortly after Shikamaru's promotion to Chunin, the team celebrated at Yakiniku-Q. After a brief argument over the meat, Asuma told Choji that he should eat less and train more. While Choji was briefly depressed, Shikamaru convinced him to be himself. When Sasuke Uchiha abandoned Konoha, Shikamaru asked Choji to join the Sasuke recovery team, to which Choji refused. Determined to have Choji come with them, Shikamaru and Naruto Uzumaki ate some of Choji's favorite snacks in front of his house. When they got to the last chip, Choji burst through the front door to eat it, saying that the last chip was sacred and that he cannot let someone else have it. Having fallen for Shikamaru's trick, Choji joined the team to retrieve Sasuke. At the start of the mission, Choji took on the Sound 4 member Jirobo. Jirobo initially proved to be too strong for Choji to beat, forcing Choji to use the Akimichi clan's special three-colored pills. Although reluctant to use the pills, Jirobo's constant mocking of Shikamaru as a worthless, selfish, and uncaring leader convinced Choji to take all three. With the accompanying increase in strength, he was able to kill Jirobo, noting that while it was fine for people to mock him and even eat his food, it was unforgivable to speak ill of his best friend. With that, Choji sends a fist crashing into Jirobo's stomach, killing the Otonin. As he headed through the forest, suffering the effects of the pills and severely emaciated, Choji sees the arrow left by his comrades. He collapses beneath it and tearfully mews to his father that he had finally found good friends. Near death, Choji was found by members of the Medic Corps and rushed back to the village for emergency treatment. With the efforts of the Nara clan's medical encyclopedia, which they had listed their research on their comrades' pills and their effects, along with Tsunade's medical expertise, allowed Choji to evade death and make a full recovery. In Naruto's footsteps, the friends' paths. In the anime, about two years after Naruto left the village with Jiraiya for training, Konoha decided to host an early Chunin exams alongside Tsunagakure. Later, as Team Asuma began discussing their joining in the exams, it became noted that with Shikamaru already a Chunin and therefore ineligible to join, it left the rest of the team short. Ino came up with the idea of having Sakura be their team's third member. After Sakura accepted to join the team, once entering the exams, Choji and his teammates were randomly split into different rooms to take the written test. He was placed in room 1 with Hinata and Neji. On a monitor, Shikamaru, as proctor, explained that everyone only needs to answer one question on the test, but their team's combined score must equal exactly 100 points to pass. Later, Ino telepathically contacted him and Sakura to make sure their score would be even. After time is up, Shikamaru reveals a bonus question that must be answered unanimously by each team, which asks what member of the respective team would be chosen to be a decoy, and the one picked would be disqualified. He was again contacted by Ino, telling him to leave the question blank on Sakura's orders. His team ultimately passes the first round. However, a preliminary round was issued to lessen the many participants, involving a race to Sunagakure where only the first 30 teams to arrive at the destination would qualify for the second exam. Ultimately, his team were among the first 30 teams to make it. Later, when everyone returned to their rooms to prepare for the following day, an anxiously hungry Choji decided to go to the next building in hopes that the Jonin supervisors would share their food. As Sakura and Ino went after him, they were all attacked by a giant scorpion. They were saved by the joyful Fu, who swiftly defeated the massive beast. After Choji received food from Gai, everyone turned in for the night. The following day, the second exam began. Like the last exam in Konoha, the teams were given either a heaven or earth scroll and were required to within three days obtain a matching set. They were then required to bring the set to the main building in the center of the demon desert. On the third day of the exam, Team Asuma lost their provisions in a previous fight. Following Sakura's decision, they went for an oasis to replenish themselves. Taking so long to arrive, Ino and Sakura got into another heated argument. Their bickering was quickly ended by the attack of another giant scorpion. While Ino didn't have enough time to use her clan techniques and the scorpion overpowered Choji, Sakura surprised everyone by defeating the creature with a single punch. Afterwards, Ino healed Sakura's hand from the attack. With everyone calming down, they used the scorpion's meat as new provisions and commented on each other's growth, reasserting their desire to pass the exams. Not feeling the provisions from the scorpion were enough, Ino insisted that the team go to the nearby oasis. Before arriving, they were cut off by a Suna team, to which Ino attacked first, letting the enemies counter and pretended to be knocked out. While the enemies engage Sakura and Choji, Ino senses the enemy's movements and telepathically informs her allies. Seeing through Ino's ploy, Shishio erects a barrier to disrupt her ability to sense. Ino improvises by linking minds with her allies, allowing Choji and Sakura to counterattack and defeat the Suna Nin. 
Afterwards, Sakura, Ino, and Ameno heal all members from both parties. While the Sunanin openly admit defeat and offer their scroll, Sakura notes that it is unneeded as they already have two matching scrolls. The two teams then part ways, agreeing to meet again in the third exam. Later, with Choji and Ino still exhausted from the last skirmish, Saya's team soon returned, keeping Ino and her team pinned down in a sandstorm while attacking them with sand puppets. While Ino tried to keep up her sensory mode, her team convinced her to conserve chakra and rely on their eyes. The Konoha Nin easily dealt with the sand puppets until one of them was revealed to be Mamushi in disguise and poisoned Choji and Ino. Afterwards, gaining enough chakra, Sakura was able to propel herself out of the sandstorm and defeat the enemies with a single strike. Afterwards, Sakura healed her teammates, to which Choji and Ino voiced their pleasure in having Sakura for a teammate. Later, Team Asuma was caught in a massive sandstorm. Ultimately, the team was rescued by the Sunanin Proctors and brought to a building to wait out the storm before resuming the exams. After the storm passed and the second exam was concluded, it was learned that the Chunin exams were ended early due to controversy happening in the second exam. Instead, it was decided by Gara that a report on each participant would be sent to their respective village leader for them to decide if they would be promoted. Upon returning to the village, Choji and his teammates were all promoted to Chunin status. Tenchi Bridge Reconnaissance Mission Choji made his Part 2 debut shortly after Naruto returned from successfully rescuing Gara. Like most of the Rookie 9, he had reached the Chunin rank. Choji had also improved his skills during the time skip and was now able to enlarge various parts of his body without much concentration. His reaction time had also increased, being able to immediately prevent an attack by Sai from harming Shikamaru or Naruto. Choji was then seen in a restaurant together with Team Asuma and Team Kakashi, now including Sai. Sai was surprised to see them after his encounter with them. Sai then started giving nicknames to everyone in the hopes of getting along better with them. He almost called Choji fat, but Naruto covered his mouth to prevent him from doing so. Akatsuki Suppression Mission Later, Choji arrived with Raido Namiyashi, Aoba Yamashiro, and Ino as backup for Asuma's Niju Shotai team in their fight with Akatsuki members Hidan and Kakazu. As the Akatsuki pair fled due to their arrival, Choji prepared to take the fatally injured Asuma back to Konoha for treatment. Asuma, however, knew that he wouldn't make it back to Konoha and gave some parting words to his team. He told Choji that he was a kind-hearted boy who thinks about his friends, and therefore may be a stronger ninja than anyone else, and to simply believe in himself. Asuma also told Choji to diet a little more, and Choji said that while it may be difficult, he would try. Choji then reminisces upon his memories with Asuma like the day they were assigned to him as students, and he treated them for a meal, and Choji had ordered a banquet, which hurt Asuma's economy. Choji then cried. After smoking one last cigarette, Asuma died, leaving Choji, Shikamaru, and Ino to set out in an attempt to avenge him, with Kakashi as their temporary leader. After discussing a plan created by Shikamaru, they located Hidan and Kakazu. Choji attacked the two from above with his spiked human bullet tank when Shikamaru distracted them, with its effectiveness increased with his new ability to grow and sharpen his hair, creating a huge crater in the ground on impact. His attack, however, did not phase them since Kakazu was able to protect himself and Hidan merely endured it. Not long after Kakazu did unleash his masks and Hidan was freed from Shikamaru's possession. When Hidan called Choji Fatso and insulted his sensei, Choji, enraged, charged at him, but was stopped by Shikamaru's shadow for going in carelessly, unfortunately leaving an opening for Hidan to attack. Fortunately, he was saved by Kakashi who dealt with Hidan himself, with Kakazu appearing before him. He acted fast and attacked Kakazu with his colossal fists, but Kakazu easily managed to stop his attack and knocked him out. When Choji regained consciousness, he increased his body size and used super open hand slap to crush two of the masks and keep them at bay. His attempt was unsuccessful and Kakazu was able to capture him and the rest of the team. As they were going to be hit with a massive fire attack by Kakazu, they were saved by Naruto and Yamato's combined technique to cancel it out. After Naruto arrived and defeated Kakazu, Choji returned to Konoha with the rest of his team, noting that Naruto defeating Kakazu made him look cool, even if not as much so as Shikamaru. Pain's Assault When Pain began his assault on Konoha, Choji and his father arrived at the scene of Kakashi and Pain's fight, stunning Pain's Asura path. After the diva path launched a counterattack at them, Choji and Choza tried to distract the path so Kakashi could land a finishing blow. Their effort failed, resulting in Choza being gravely injured. Kakashi, unable to move, sent Choji to tell Tsunade about the diva path's ability. Though believing his father to be dead, Choji did as instructed and was delighted to learn from Tsunade that his father was alive. 
but he quickly sobered after finding out that Kakashi died protecting him. He went to attend to his father and stayed with him during the destruction of Konoha. After witnessing Kakashi returning to life, Choji greeted Naruto as he returned to Konoha, supporting Shikamaru on his shoulder. Five Kage Summit Choji is seen comforting Ino after teams Gai, Asuma, and Kuranai agree that Sasuke must be stopped. He is also noted by Shikamaru to want revenge if Ino is to be killed, personally to prevent a devastating international war. Along with the rest of the Konoha 11, Choji is prepared to kill Sasuke. Choji was later seen with the rest of the Konoha 11, hearing Naruto's decision about Sasuke. When Naruto explained that it would not be easy to defeat Sasuke even at his current level, Choji asked what he meant by that. Fourth Shinobi World War Confrontation when the 4th Shinobi World War begins, Choji is placed in the 4th Division alongside Shikamaru. Choji, Shikamaru, and other members of their division are later sent to provide support for the 1st Division. They meet up with Ino, sent as backup from her own division, and they team up to help Darui fight Kinkaku. Choji attacks Kinkaku with his human bullet tank, creating an opening for Shikamaru and Ino and ultimately leading to Kinkaku's capture. Ino Shikacho next engages the reincarnated Kakazu. As they prepare to face him yet again, he points out that he is not the only ninja to have been reincarnated. Asuma is on the battlefield too. As Asuma's students and thus experts on his fighting style, Shikaku leaves fighting him to Ino Shikacho. Choji is reluctant to fight Asuma, and despite Shikamaru and Ino's attempt to reassure him, he cannot bring himself to attack him. Asuma attacks him with his wind release, dust cloud technique, and Ino tackles him to get him to move out of the way. As Choji struggles to come to terms with what's happening, Asuma tries to motivate him by calling him fat. Although Choji lashes out in his usual fashion, he still cannot bring himself to strike Asuma. Ino transfers her consciousness into Choji's body to fight on his behalf. As she fights, Choji reflects on his duty as an Akamichi, only coming back to his senses when his father shields them from Asuma's attack. Seeing that his teammates and his own father have the will to fight despite the circumstances, Choji finds the resolve he needs. He uses Butterfly Choji mode to create Butterfly Chakra Wings without the aid of the three colored pills, a feat which amazed his father. While Shikamaru maneuvers Asuma into a vulnerable position, Choji grew to gigantic size and used the Butterfly Bullet Bombing technique to punch Asuma into a nearby cliff. Immobilized, Asuma uses his last few moments before being sealed to congratulate his students on their perfect formation, as well as thank Choji for finding the confidence. Choji then grew his wings to an enormous size, catching the attention of everyone in the battlefield. He asked Shikamaru and Ino to back him up while he ended the battle. By nightfall, Choji had managed to capture Hizashi Hyuga in his hand while crushing Kakuzu underneath his other fist. The apparent victory is short-lived as Tobi soon appears on the battlefield with the demonic statue of the Outer Path. Choji and his father confront the statue but are no match for it, only being flung back in the failed offensive. Returning to his regular size, Choji bunkers down with the rest of his team as the statue goes on a rampage. Later, Choji and the rest of the shinobi stand in circles as a countermeasure against the White Zetsu until Naruto could come and differentiate them. Getting somewhat restless, Choji asks how much longer they'd have to stay like this noting that if the demonic statue came back, they'd be in a lot of trouble. He's greatly relieved when Naruto's shadow clone finally arrives. After being informed by Inuichi from HQ that Naruto and B were fighting the masked Madara, Choji and the rest of the Konoha 11 rush to his aid. As he runs, he states to Shikamaru that it seemed Naruto was doing well. He then states that Naruto was as stupid as he was fat, but that people were not always as they seem. Thinking to himself, he jokingly tells slightly stupid Naruto to wait because Slim Choji was coming. Fourth Shinobi World War Climax Upon arriving at the battlefield alongside Shikamaru, Choji announced their presence to Naruto and later stood alongside the other members of the allied shinobi forces to face their opposition. After Shikaku and Inuichi were killed by the Ten Tails after relaying their final strategy, Choji attempted to console Shikamaru, only to be reminded by his friend that they were in the midst of battle and did not have the time to grieve. He was later shocked alongside the others by Neji's death. After Kurama had accumulated enough chakra, Naruto sent shadow clones to Choji and the rest of the allied shinobi forces to distribute Kurama's chakra. Kurama's chakra cloak envelops Choji, causing his body to naturally begin converting the chakra into calories, leading him to rapidly begin to regain weight, somewhat to the young man's dismay. Soon after the Ten Tails launched an attack, Choji and several other Akimichi stopped its tails. This gave Ino the chance to take over Obito with their mind-body switch technique to deflect an attack launched at them. Later, when Madara and Obito bear down on the alliance with their fire release, great fire annihilation, and fire release blast wave wild dance, the cloaks surrounding them protected them from the attacks. 
This led Choji to comment that if it hadn't been for the cloak, they would be no different than pigs roasting on a spit. He would later remark that once again, Naruto had protected them from the Tenpenchi. Later, as the Alliance banded together to protect themselves against the Tentail's enormous tailed beast ball, Choji and the other shinobi are able to create multiple weakened defenses in an attempt to deflect the attack. However, when these seem to fail, they are saved by the fourth Hokage's appearance on the battlefield, and even more so when the other Hokage arrive. He was later shocked to see Sasuke arrive on the battlefield as well, and went along with his teammates to where they were. As Ino rushed forward, Choji cautioned her that Sasuke was dangerous and that she needed to keep her distance. Choji and the others were later shocked and confused to hear Sasuke's resolve to begun the next Hokage. He then comments on the reunion of Team 7, saying that it has been a while since their entire graduating class has gathered in one place, the last time being the Chunin exams. He then charges at the ten tails with his friends. Ino then rallies her own team together for them to perform Formation E. When Choji uses his multi-size technique and Shikamaru uses the Shadow Clutch technique on him, Ino uses her sensory abilities to lock onto all the clones in the surrounding area, before using the Perception Transfer technique on Shikamaru. With Ino acting as the mind, Shikamaru as the body, and Choji as the yo-yo, the trio perform the Human Bullet Yo-Yo technique, obliterating all the surrounding clones. As Choji prepares to double in size to strengthen his assault, Shikamaru states that the team has a lot more to show, with Ino then berating him for his sudden competitiveness with the other teams. He then watched Naruto and Sasuke attack the Tentails, silently spurring them on. Birth of the Tentails Jinshuriki With the situation looking grim as the Alliance was trapped in a barrier with a tailed beast ball firing tree, Choji and the other shinobi soon found themselves shrouded in the previous version 1 mantles again. Shocked that it had reappeared, he noted that it was even stronger than before. He and the other shinobi subsequently found themselves on the outside of the barrier, escaping the near-fatal attack thanks to Naruto and Minato's action. Ready to begin the final stages of his plan, Obito unleashes the Ten Tails tree form. It begins unleashing countless branches, attacking every living target to absorb its chakra, killing the victim in the process. To Choji's horror, Shikamaru fell victim to the tree's attack and was drained of nearly all his chakra. Shikamaru collapsed in Choji's arms. Hashirama Senju has Ino link everyone up telepathically to inform them of what his original had learned from the Eye of the Moon plan, as well as try and rally them. While Hashirama's words fail to inspire anyone, Naruto's Senjutsu Enhanced Tailed Beast Mode, combined with Ino's telepathy, caused his emotions and personal memories to be conveyed with everyone during which Choji sympathized with Naruto over the loss of Asuma. Choji was later so overjoyed when Shikamaru recovered that the young man unreservedly embraced his friend while shedding tears despite Shikamaru's protests. He and his teammates later mobilized when Naruto called for them via their telepathic link. While shocked when Naruto's tailed beast mode mantle surrounds him, Choji and the others were successful in using the Rasengan formed in Kurama's tails to break through Obito's defenses and give Naruto and Sasuke a clear shot at attacking their opponent. He and his comrades later also assisted Naruto with wresting control of the Tailed Beast's chakra from Obito to effectively stop the Tentails tree form from blooming. When Madara was revived, Choji aided his comrades in combating Tobi. He later wondered just what exactly was going on across the battlefield when they saw meteorites falling from the sky close by. He and most of the world fell prey to the infinite Tsukiyomi. Inside the Genjutsu, Choji dreamt of eating a large meal whilst a beautiful girl praised him for it and his father watched on, proud of his son. Kageya Otsutsuki Strikes Ultimately, the world was freed from the Genjutsu by Naruto and Sasuke after they ended the war. Kakashi Hiden, Lightning in the Icy Sky Choji is part of the team of Konoha Ninja assigned to provide security at the Blood Prison. When the Ryuha Armament Alliance stages a prison break, Choji helps round up the escaped prisoners. Shikamaru Hiden, A Cloud Drifting in Silent Darkness when Shikamaru goes missing in the Land of Silence, Choji joins a joint Konoha and Suna force to search for and rescue him. Konoha Hiden, the perfect day for a wedding. Choji meets up with Shikamaru, who is trying to think of what to get for Naruto and Hinata, and the two have lunch at Yakiniku Q. Choji reveals that he's gotten Naruto and Hinata a complimentary meal at a nice restaurant. Shikamaru is impressed by how thoughtful the gift is until Choji mentions it's a meal for three and that he intends to accompany them. He'll get a separate table so as to not be rude. When Shikamaru finally settles on getting them a romantic honeymoon, Choji helps him look around Konoha for Ino, as Shikamaru needs a woman's input to help him plan something suitable. After running into Tamari, Choji forces Shikamaru to ask her instead and decides to excuse himself to get dessert. Choji is later asked by Ino to sample hers and Sakura's military ration pills when they have a cooking competition to prove their woman-like abilities. 
Choji samples each of their soldier pills and finds them so delicious that he starts putting them into his mouth by the handful. He soon collapses to the ground with blood running from his nose, causing Sakura to believe Ino poisoned the pills and vice versa. Choji gets up soon afterwards, having finally recovered from his blood sugar overload, and he praises both of their soldier pills. Choji is last seen at Naruto and Hinata's wedding, congratulating the pair and smiling when he sees Shikamaru and Tamari having a friendly conversation. Feeling himself get hungry, Choji plans out how he'll consume all the food. Sasuke Shinden, Book of Sunrise When intruders are detected approaching Konoha, Choji is part of a force sent to intercept them. The intruders turn out to be Konoha ninja who are being controlled, and furthermore blow up when damaged. When this happens, Choji enters butterfly mode and uses the form's wings to direct the explosion away from the village. New Era In the following years, Choji would marry Karui, whom he had a daughter with named Chocho. Konoha Shinden, Steam Ninja Scrolls With graduation exams nearing for his daughter's class, Choji met up with Chocho, who was still annoyed with her father's choice of potato chips. Later, he and his family ate out together, with Chocho still annoyed at how different she was from her parents. They were soon approached by Sarada Uchiha, who was having identity issues of her own. Choji soon left for a mission, during which he is contacted by Kakashi, who is in the area, and requested to come to a remote village in the land of hot water to move a giant meteorite that is blocking a hot spring from flowing. Arriving the next day, Choji prepared to move it, but Mirai Saratobi ate his last bag of potato chips, resulting in Choji being deprived of the calories he would need to move the rock. Feeling guilty, she made a fresh batch of potato chips with Choji ate and praised her for. Entering his butterfly Choji mode and enlarging himself, he began pushing the rock, but is unable to move it until Might Guy, Kakashi, Mirai, and the Yugakure Shinobi present collaboratively pushed it together. Returning to his normal size and hungry, Mirai decided to make him all the chips he wants. Later, it was revealed that Choji was helping in an investigation of missing girls from the land of hot water by helping Kakashi and Guy gather intel. Graduation Exams Arc in the anime, in preparation for the Genin exams at the academy, Choji trained with Chocho, Inojin Yamanaka, and Shika Dainara. Later, he and Chocho attended the parent-teacher conference at the academy where he discussed his daughter's progress and future goals with Shino Abarame. Naruto Shinden, Parent and Child Day During the new Konohagakure holiday, Parent and Child Day, Karui was annoyed at both how lazy Choji was being, and that he ate all the sweets she specifically bought for the family to eat together, ultimately kicking him out of the house to think about his actions. As Chocho's casual comments made Choji begin fearing that he made Karui so mad that she would leave him, his daughter insisted that he must have some redeemable traits for Karui to have put up with him for so long. Convinced that it was his reputation as a competitive eating champion, he entered a food competition in the naive hope of impressing Karui. As he and Chocho entered together, they were unknowingly being sabotaged by the promoters of the competition. As Boruto realized what was going on and helped even the playing field, one of the promoters used a technique to make their dumplings grow to immense sizes. As Choji and Chocho struggled to stop the growing dumplings, Karui joined her family in fighting them off to no avail. Ultimately, Choji enlarged himself to eat all the dumplings and apologized for eating all the sweets before, realizing that food should be shared with the family. Karui forgave him. Choji and his family then enjoy a meal together at the end of Parrot and Child Day. Versus Momoshiki Arc While shopping with his daughter, Choji was irritated to find that all the food on the shelves had been bought by Naruto's shadow clones. He later watched his daughter compete in the second round of the Chunin exams against Shinki. Chocho Arc In the anime, Choji began teaching his daughter their clan's more advanced techniques, including the maxed out calorie control skill, only to be disappointed when she was more interested in watching a TV drama featuring a handsome lead actor, Tomaru. Time Slip Arc In the anime, deciding to get rid of old clothing they no longer used, Choji and Chocho decided to sell them at the flea market. To their dismay, no one was interested, oblivious to the fact that all their clothing was oversized. Later, Boruto and Sarada came by, hoping to find the Icha Icha books by Jiraiya in hopes to understand his influence on Naruto. Concerned about such young kids reading such an adult book, Choji tried to get them off the topic by telling them from his own experience the kind of man Jiraiya was. When that failed, Choji simply told them that they were too young to read the books. Later, when Urashiki Otsutsuki was spotted in the area, Choji joined several other Konoha Nin to pursue him. However, this turned out to be a diversion by the alien who placed a genjutsu on them to let him sneak into the village. Meanwhile, the grown-up Sasuke and Boruto were sent back in time to shortly after Sasuke's defection. There, the two pretended to be traveling performers and were put under watch by Naruto, during which past Choji and his friends helped Boruto and Naruto clean up a bathhouse after the commotion Naruto and Jiraiya caused. 
Days later, Choji and the rest of his team invited Boruto and Naruto to join them in an after-mission barbecue dinner at Yakiniku Q. Days later, Konohamaru, Moegi, and Udon approached Choji and his friends for help, telling how Naruto and Boruto were battling a dangerous foe. They quickly agreed to help. By the time they arrived, however, the Urashiki was already defeated. The group then escorted their injured friends to the hospital. Days later, after Sasuke and Boruto recovered and prepared to return to their time, Sasuke first used his Sharingan to erase the memories of everyone he and Boruto came into contact with of the recent events in order to protect the timeline. Kara Actuation Arc In the anime, after learning of Kara, Konohagakure sent Choji to report this threat to Kumogakure. Ao Arc In the anime, Choji attended the memorial service for the fallen people of the 4th Shinobi World War. Did you enjoy your video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amangi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.